Weather with 27 Storm Tracks, Catherine Noel. Welcome back, everyone. Let's start with the live look outside. Madison, right now, we do have some overcast skies. It's 55 degrees, so a bit cooler today. That's what it feels like when you step outside. We do have a 10 degree difference from this time yesterday to today, and then we're going to eventually get even cooler as the week goes on. So maybe enjoy it today because our temperatures will eventually dip even lower. We do have a westerly wind eventually switching to the northwest. A lot of us are in the mid 50s, some in the upper 50s in certain areas. Low 50s in Baraboo, 51, 54 in Camp Douglas, 53 in Viroqua, 56 in Prairie du Chien. Like I mentioned, those northwesterly winds are bringing in that cooler air mass and they're going to be a bit gusty today, breezy as the day goes on maybe about 15 miles per hour, bringing in a cooler wind. A satellite and radar does show some showers that move through, most likely some lighter rain drizzle in areas. Cloudy skies do persist though, and that continues. Showers right now are moving through areas like Princeton, Fond du Lac, Beaver Dam, Jefferson, Janesville area. I think we're going to get a little bit of a lull, so a break from the rain, and then it'll continue later on this afternoon. You look off to the east though in Michigan, this was some of that widespread rain that we got for a few hours yesterday, bringing up out a quarter of an inch to Madison. Taking a look at future track, you can see once again those showers pushing through, becoming very scattered, very stray as the day goes on. Temperatures sticking to the 50s and then eventually dropping to the mid 40s at night. And we do dry out tonight and tomorrow will be dry. Partly, partly sunny skies are expected tomorrow. Not much rain though that's going to come with this rainmaker, so maybe about a tenth of an inch, but still just. I mean, we are above average this time of year for our rain, so I, we don't really need it. We are in the surplus, but it's not going to be very much anyway, so it won't affect us. Today, 58 for our high, mostly cloudy skies. It will be cool. We're already feeling that chill. A few spotty showers. Tonight, 44, partly cloudy and cool, so taking a look at that partly cloudy, that could change whether or not we get to see the northern lights. There is a chance. Take a look at this graphic. We are in the visible overhead section. That means especially if you head north, so Door County is a great place to see the northern lights. The best timing for this is 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And if we do clear out, there's a better shot at seeing some. All right, so take a look at our seven day here. We do dip down, like I said, to the low 50s for our high. Later on in the week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, shower chances once again Wednesday, just a few spotty showers scattered Thursday, and then some chances over the weekend. We'll get a better look at this as the week goes on. But yeah, falls here, and it's going to be sticking say. around for a bit. I, you know, we had that warm weekend mm -hmm. this past weekend, and I think. I don't know when we're going to feel the 70s next. It may have been the last That event. was it. Yeah, it may have been. Uh, we'll see. We'll okay. see. Looking forward to next May. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, next year. Okay, At great. least we'll get to see the northern lights, hopefully. I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we, we do. can stay up. Yeah, exactly. I will we'll probably be asleep. Yep. But send us your pictures because I would actually love yes. to see them. It's on my bucket list.